Hello, aspiring guitarists. Let's talk amplifiers that you can use without toting around big things and without breaking the bank. We've got a lot to talk about, like we told you before, with beginner guitars. And you know what? Even if you're a seasoned guitarist, you have choices that will keep you from breaking the bank and lugging around things you don't need. All right, let me get this camera positioned where we can do some work and let's get into this. Bear with me. All right. Now, let's remove my Bama guitar hat. I put a link later in one of the videos of who made this for me. They did a tremendous job. I got to pick out the guitars I want, the logo I want. I just thought that was pretty cool. All right. So what do we got? Well, we got all kinds of things. Um, we've got a new Fender offering here. And the thing that's different between so many of the other portable, small, mini amps about this Fender is, you know, you can buy a nine volt uh, power supply for it. And it's also, you know, right there. It doesn't come with one, but you can buy one. And it does have a headphone, but it uses a nine volt battery. Now to me, that's pretty darn cool. So, you know, but I mean, there is the other side like this positive grid, the little uh, Go, is a very cool Bluetooth, and it charges. Then you turn it on right here. You can see it's looking for a Bluetooth. Now it went green, so it's on. Well, there's your input jack for the amp. That's volume. That's also volume. Those are presets. Let me just show you. I've got the Boss Katana up, but let's just flip over. There's the Spark. And you can go through on the Spark and pick all different kinds of things. You can see I've got Silver Ship, but there's other things you can pick. And what those do, those work with your presets. Now, you just simply plug your jack right there. So... That's a great little resource. And then you have other things like the Spark Mini. Positive Grid has a whole line of small and big. I, I have, the only thing I haven't bought is their new live one. Uh, I've got their cabinet, the 40. Uh, I'm a big advocate of the Positive Grid. And, I, and I'm gonna do an entire video on that one day and tell you why. Um, and, and I love my, my, uh, tube amps. I mean, I really do. I'll show you right here a modeler that I use from Vox. This is an MV50 Clean, which puts out a, a, a signal digital very much like a tube amp, you know, that the, the Beatles, and this comes in different sizes. We'll do a whole thing on that one day, but that's a, no, that's a modeler though. But it can also be used as just a mini little lamp. It's got a place for the headphones, you know, and I've used it several times. And most all of these are gonna have like positive grid. You have the presets by hitting this button. It's still on, let's turn it off. This one here, you can see it's got power, the fender. It just comes on. I, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. That's the plastic bag that was wrapped in. That's the box. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time playing these and I'm gonna tell you why. I, I think that can be very deceiving unless you're gonna, some of these uh, and, and I put them in our guitar worthy sites and on our community page. Some of these do a deep dive on tones and they go through enough different tones to where you can hear the different sounds. But to me, you get a distorted view if you're not willing to wait that long because 
A lot of it has to do with the settings you pick. But let's just plug this in. All right, we've got our little mini strat over here. Let's turn up some juice over here. Let's go to the volume. Let's do a little game, get some distortion going there. Let's back off the tone. Let's turn the switch on a little mini strat. Now, folks, that's powered by a nine volt battery. I mean, I love this. I can take it outside. Now, don't get me wrong. I can take the positive grid outside too because, you know, it's got an internal battery that you charge. But the little nine volt, that's very appealing to me. Um, this is, a, I bought it at the Fender website, but they actually had it on sale for Memorial Day. They may still have, have it on sale. And I got it for, it, I don't know, it was about $35. And to me, it was it was absolutely worth it. I don't know if you can see the speakers, a couple of little speakers in there. Let me turn it. You can see the light hitting the grill. But I mean, to me, that's just neat. I mean, you can hear I change tone. So, I mean, that's the reason I don't go into all this and do the tones. There's plenty of places online that do that. Now, here's another option for not wanting to have giant speakers and for a beginner guitar. This is the little Boss uh, Katana Go. And I absolutely love this thing. I can plug my headphones in. You can use, you know, little uh, earpiece headphones too on many of these. And I don't bother anybody. I don't disturb anybody. Um, when you turn it on, this also has an app like many of them do. There we go. There's my blood glucose. A little high because I just ate, but that ain't bad. Okay, and you can see it's got everything from session, librarian, tone exchange system. You can roll all these. There's all kind of effects. I mean, there is just the, the, <laughs> the mini amplifier world is your oyster, as they say. So, but you can see there's a lot of settings. Now this actually lights up and tells you what it's doing. That's a volume right there. Um, on off, let's go ahead and turn it on let you see. You can see now it's lit up, brown lead. And you can go through the different presets right there to get in. This just plugs into your guitar. And then all you're doing is taking the input and going into the phones right there. I mean, like I said, the world is your oyster. Now to move up to something that's a little bigger, well, you've got the Fender Frontman right here, the little Frontman 20. And it's it's quite loud for, for a amp that size. And I got mine for under a hundred bucks. So, I mean, you have all kind of choices that you can go with. There's just so much you can do. Do a Google search for many amps. Uh, I, I'm gonna put a bunch of links I'm gonna go ahead and get the video up, so check back and look at the description and I'll add the links and you can see some of the many other things, you know, but you can do a Google search or a YouTube search on uh, mini guitar amps, uh, mini guitar amps with headphones and things like that. And you'll just get a multitude of choices and options, you know, that you can choose from. So. You know, I hope this gets you thinking. Um, I just think that, don't get me wrong, if you love amps, I, I've told you before, in high school, I had a big, giant Fender Super Twin Reverb that would just blow you out, and I loved that amp. I did not love lugging it around. Um, I'll have more uh, videos about choices, and I'm not going to do 
the the tones. I think I, now I love listening to tones. I, I go to some of these. Uh, I tell you, Alamo Music is one of the best. I highly recommend them on YouTube at doing tones uh, when they're doing guitars, amps, and things like that. And there are many times when I'm trying to make an online decision, I visit them, and they'll do 10 minutes of different various tones, and, and it's a wonderful resource. So, you know, that's definitely something to tap into. So, anyway, I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, those of you that have subscribed to our low-cost monthly membership, we want to just tell you thank you. We are trying to work out some issues with the lives, but we are going to have some lives to come and some that are exclusive for those low-cost memberships. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, I hope you have a blessed guitar journey, and as always, happy picking.